Choose you this day whom you will serve. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. All right, I got my LG Stylo 5 fixed. I made a video on the repair, and I'll set it up for upload later. But, until I do that, look what I come across, and I gotta make a comment on this. Oh, there's that stupid auto startup on that stereo. I need to turn that motion off. Listen up, people. I know a thing or two about extinction. And let me tell you, and you kind of think this would be obvious, going extinct is a bad thing. And driving yourselves extinct? In 70 million years, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. At least we had an asteroid. What's your excuse? You're headed for a climate disaster. And yet every year, governments spend hundreds of billions of public funds on fossil fuel subsidies. Imagine if we had spent hundreds of billions per year subsidizing giant meteors. That's what you're doing right now. Think of all the other things you can do with that money. Around the world, people are living in poverty. Don't you think helping them would make more sense than, I don't know, paying for the demise of your entire species? Let me be real for a second. You've got a huge opportunity right now. As you rebuild your economies and bounce back from this pandemic, this is humanity's big chance. So here's my wild idea. Don't choose extinction. Save your species before it's too late. It's time for you humans to stop making excuses and start making changes. Thank you. That is nothing but an occult, really. It's a religion. I mean, the text on the screen that I shut the camera off a little early for said, It's now or never. What a fanatical, um, uh, crazy mentality. Uh, panic inducing, something. There's something not quite right about that. Um, but I digress. What the the dinosaurs like, you know, you guys are going to create a meteor to dis to destroy yourself by relying on fossil fuels. Two things. One, that's heresy. Listening to a dinosaur go up in front of all these humans and talking like it's in a higher position than humans? No! Humans are above animals according to the, to the Bible. So that dinosaur being portrayed in a, in a status above man is heresy. Okay, now let's go ahead and get to the lunacy. You think that... Okay, time out. Alright, the other thing the Bible says. And, and, I, and I've got something totally non-biblical to, ar to, to argue with it too. But... Let's stick with the Bible first, the heresy. The other thing, it says, man cannot change the planet. It, it's just not the way it works. We're not, we don't have that power. And to think that we do is, again, not biblical. You know, it, I'll point it in the direction of, thou shalt have no other gods before me. To... To, to that, that dinosaur, in some way, shape, or form, in my mind, it says it's being portrayed as a god. And if, again, if not, it's above people, which is, again, anti-god. It's heresy. 
exactly what it is. It's directly condemning the Bible, and or indirectly condemning the Bible. My apologies. Um, <coughs> so, we can't change the planet. Whether we use fossil fuels or not isn't going to change things in that manner. Local pollutions and stuff, sure. We don't need to be billowing out tons of pollution if there's, you know, needlessly. Uh, you know, um... And we got to go in a category of, of restraint, selfishness, things like that, you know, the lack of empathy, you know, and this pertains to capitalism as well. You can be completely capital, ca oh, sorry, a complete capitalist and have complete empathy. Can you be a capitalist without empathy? Uh, maybe, but that sounds more like a... Um, Marxist, socialist, communist. It is what it is. So, um, but yeah, anybody who, who, who sees that and really thinks that that dinosaur coming up in there and talking to anybody, if that emotionally spurs anybody to try to save the planet by getting an electric car, even though the, the the coal plants power the cars and they could be nuclear, but maybe that's not as profitable or I don't know. I think I've gone on long enough about this godlike dinosaur telling us we can change the planet if we do something right now, not later, but right now, because it's a because that's the way occults work. There's no actual foundation that they have built upon for any kind of longativity is the only way they really get victims to be to become people who victimize later is they gotta do it right now <laughs> see you later answer the phone joshua